Hello everyone, welcome to an introduction to Maya 2012. Um, my name is Orlando Orozco. If you are enrolled in Architecture 210, you have met me before. I am one of your TAs. Um, let's go ahead and get started with Maya. Um, what you want to start off doing when you create a new project is first create a directory for it. So what you'll do is click on File and then Project Window and then go ahead and click New. Um, Let's go ahead and call this directory Artist House, since that's what most of you are working on. And I'll just put my name here so that there's less confusion. And after you create a name, go ahead and pick a location for your directory. In this case, uh, let's go to Arc 210. And actually, all you have to do is select it. So select the directory and then push the button select and you'll see all these options lined up next to scenes templates and images if they're not filled out go ahead and push a button that says use defaults in 2012 it already writes them all in for you so go ahead and push accept and what we then want to do is make sure all the settings are correct for your project um, go ahead and click on window and then settings and preferences and then prefer preferences and there are a couple things you need to change under settings you'll want to change the linear working units to inches um, by default it's set to centimeter and then um, the time frames the frames per second you'll want to switch that to NTSC 30 frames per second um, another thing you'll want to change is the undo setting I think in older versions of Maya it actually limits you to a queue size of 50 so that means if as you're working on a project you might make a mistake but not realize it until after many things have been changed um, so if this infinite setting isn't set by that time then you're gonna lose everything before that 50th undo position so go ahead and just make sure infinite is set and click Save um, now that we've done all these changes, what you want to do to make sure they remain in is to save the scene. Um, let's go ahead and just call this beginning. You can call it whatever you want though. And go ahead and hit save. And as you'll notice up here, it should be saving it into the scenes folder. Um, whenever you start Maya, let's say you've been working on something else and you have had Maya closed for a while, um, you'll always want to make sure when you open up Maya you, that you set your project. So let's go ahead and just set it even though it's already set. Um, so you might see all your folders here and just go ahead and find the directory we created earlier and just select it and then hit set. And that should make sure, that should tell Maya where to look for all the files that you'll have associated with your project. Now that we've created our main directory, let's go ahead and add an image to the source images folder. Um, I've already created a 2D view of a just a bogus house I designed for fun one day. Um, it's in a separate folder so for now I'm just going to select it and then copy it and then we'll find our project directory and then find your source images folder and double click it and go ahead and just paste it in. When you're in Maya, um, there are certain views you can have. Right now we are in the perspective view, but if you just tap the space bar, it'll take you to all your other available views. Um, so for now, let's just go to the front view. And so what you'll want to do is place your mouse cursor over where it says front and then just tap it again. And that'll expand the view so that that's the only one you see. Um, let's go ahead and zoom out. What we're going to do is import that image we just transferred and we're going to use it as a guide to start the modeling process. So click on file 
and then I'm sorry now go to view within this little view panel and go to image plane and import image now you'll see right away that you saw or that um, the image we transferred to our directory is there now so go ahead and select it there it is it shows up and click open Although you may not want to model your actual building by using um, flattened planes exported from other programs like this, it can be rather cumbersome. Um, let's say you're trying to create a special object that you want to place into your building that maybe um, wasn't created in Revit, for instance. Um, it could be a vase or it could be a special chair. Um, you can model it yourself and reference um, an image behind it. Another way you can import work you've already done, say in Revit, into Maya, is to import it as an FBX file. Um, before you do anything, make sure you have the plugin activated. Um, by default, it doesn't bring it up, so all you have to do is go to Window, Settings and Preferences, and then Plugin Manager, and kind of search through. You'll see something that says fbxmaya.mll. Go ahead and select that and have it auto load as well and just close this. Open up Revit and you see I've got the sample project that um, Autodesk Revit 2011 comes with. Um, go ahead and zoom out a bit and just select everything. And notice that this is um, a 3D aerial view. Um, it has all the textures showing and all the 3D objects visible. So with that selected, um, click on the main R up here and go to Export and FBX. And what you can do now is find your directory that we created. I'll just go ahead and put this under source images and I'll create a new folder and I'll just rename it Revit source for now okay so just go inside that folder and give it a let's give it a cleaner name how about sloped house and click save might take a little while okay go ahead and minimize Revit and go back to Maya and let's go to file and then import and let's go to the source images and the Revit source folder we created. And let's make sure FBX files are selected. So go ahead and scroll down. You'll see FBX. And then go ahead and select the file and click import. This might also take a little while. Okay, so let's go ahead and zoom out. Since everything's scaled to inches, it's going to be appropriate. And as you can see, it's a big um, array of wireframe lines. Let's go ahead and switch the view to Smooth Shade All by clicking this um, little tiny blue cube up here. And you can also activate textures by clicking this button. Let's go ahead and do that. But as you can see, none of the textures exported over into Maya. There are some incompat incompatibility issues. In a later step, I'll show you how to create textures and apply them to these shapes that are now imported into Maya, um, as well as show you some modeling techniques. Um, as you can see, a lot of these faces are triangulated. 
So making any changes might be a little bit problematic given that um, a lot of the points don't quite line up. But let's go ahead and save our file for now. Um, let's save the scene as, and let's call this Revit import one and save. And it should say student version file and give you a little warning every time you save. Go ahead and just ignore that and hit continue. And let's go ahead and create a new scene.